press record. Okay, with the assistance of my son, we're going to do this. So he's holding the, the video. Right, what to do when you're multiplying out three brackets? The example she used is step one, you need to multiply these brackets out. Okay, so the first thing you do is you have to remember that the n has to multiply by the n and the four, and the three has to multiply by the three, um, and the n and the four as well. So that's what those lines are. So the first multiple that you do is multiply n by n, which is n squared, multiply n by 4, which is plus 4n. Then you do 3n, which is plus 3n. And the last one ooh, is 3 by 4, which is plus 12. So that's your first bracket. And you simplify because you can see that that's 4n, that's 3n, so you get plus 7n. Okay? And what you have now is those two brackets are now that equation we'll put that in back in brackets and then you multiply out the next one so the same thing applies i need to multiply the n by each one of these and the two by each one of these so i'll do the n first i get n cubed plus 7n squared plus 12n then i do the two i get plus 2n squared plus 14n plus 24 Hopefully I'm right with the maths. And then you simplify. So I've only got one cubed, which is n cubed. I've got 7n squared plus 2n squared. So that's plus 9n squared. I've got plus 12n and plus 14n, which is plus 26n. I think I'm right. And then I've got plus 24. Okay. And that is it multiplied out in the simplest fashion. OK, so again, you multiply one set of brackets and you multiply then the next set afterwards. You can do them in any order, but that's just the way of doing it to make sure that you remember to multiply all of them together to get your answer. Hopefully that makes sense. There you go. Maths mum solves your problem. Let me know if that works. Bye.